Oh, oh, there it is. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be doing a little bit of fishing with a technique that if you're having a hard time getting on some urban fish, or if you're just a beginner fisherman, you don't wanna spend a whole lot of money, you need a simple tactic to go out and get some fish. We got the tactic for you today, so stay tuned, enjoy, and let's go get them. All right, y'all, simplicity is key today. We're using a little marabou jig, about two feet in front. We got a little bobber, got it on the medium light Akuma Saros rod, paired up on the Samar A series reel, 2500 series, six pounds off steel fluorocarbon. And we are going to show you guys how simple you can have a rig to go out and catch some fish. Simplicity is key when it comes to fishing. And if you're a beginner fisherman, I recommend this little tactic right here it is super simple but yeah so much fun to catch these fish so all we're gonna do is kind of gauge how deep this area is and we're gonna pull the bobber down slightly so it is fairly shallow here so we're gonna pull it down to about 15 inches of leader line you're gonna throw it up in the current let that bobber stand up and you're gonna let the current just take it super simple you do nothing and once that bobber goes down, set that hook, get the fish in. Super fun tactic if you got kids or if you're just a beginner fisherman in general. I mean, you can do this, come out, catch a couple fish, bluegills, bass, crappies, etc. Have a lot of fun. You know, you might not load up, but it's simple enough to where you get the gist of fishing. And it is fun because it is so exhilarating and so much fun to wait for that bobber to just drop. And the second that bobber drops, be prepared because sometimes it could be a really, really good quality fish. This one will run it right along that wall. Perfect ambush point. Any little bass down in there can just slam this bait right up onto the concrete wall and crush it. You can see the bobber slowing down. It's where the water's starting to circulate a little bit, so it's gonna keep it in one spot. Slowly keep pushing it, and once it stops, you let it sit for, eh, I give it about five to 10 seconds and do the same thing. Oh, you can see right here. This is probably where we're gonna get bit, y'all. I don't know if you guys can see it on the GoPro, but right here, it is pushing out a ton of stuff. Oh, we just got bit, y'all. We just got bit, bobbers down. We're on, we're on. Oh man, he spit it. Son of a gun. Bobber dropped. Just as I suspected, they're hanging out in this dirty silt, ambushing all the little bait fish. That was so sick watching that. I tried to give him a second to eat it, but he just didn't want to hang on. Little bugger was being a pain. And all you have to do in the urban area is fish a small area like this, where there's some water flow. You catch something great. If not, move on to another spot. You're gonna find an area where the fish are stacked up. Now, if you're pan fishing, crappie, bluegill, red ear, etc., this is hands down one of the coolest ways to catch them. Cause you don't need to bring minnows. You don't need to carry a bunch of extra stuff. You just have your little pack of marabou in your pocket and you're good to go. It minimizes the amount of stuff that you have to bring out. And a lot of times as a fisherman, me personally, I don't like to bring a lot of stuff out, you know? One rod, one reel, some baits. And if I can get away with that, I'm, I'm happy. I don't need to catch a whole lot of fish. I'm just out to have a good time and get on a couple, couple little scrappers. Let's get that thing to drop right down in that silt. Oh, 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 he's got it. Look at that, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Oh man, get up, come on buddy, get up. Little guys, little guys, look how fat they are, my goodness. That was so sick, y'all. Look at that. Little marabou, freaking chubby little bass. Sturdy. And man, he chowed down that vertical hook set. Not much cooler than this. Try to get that out in the sun, there we go. Little marabou jig, that's all you need, y'all. Get on some fun, feisty bass. We have maybe about like 30 more minutes to fish. I don't have a whole lot of time today, but I wanted to come out and make a simple video like this to show you guys how simple fishing can truly be. You don't have to make a big old production about it. You can come out, have fun, catch a few fish, and head home. The reason why I have the uh, chartreuse and white marabou is because I had a feeling that the canal was gonna be a little bit dingy, so that chartreuse just adds a little more pop into the water column so that these fish can, you know, spot the bait a little bit easier. Man, something was fiddling with it, yeah. We've had four bites, only one fish. I wish I was a better teacher, y'all. 
I can explain stuff all day, but I need to actually get it in action. And a lot, oh, we just went over a little bump. Perfect. Oh, oh, there's, there's one right as it dropped down, y'all. Ooh, a little bit better one. A little bit, ooh, that is a better one. I'm worried about that, uh, uh he's barely pin, y'all. But we got him up. Beautiful bass on this technique. Look at that, y'all. This is the kind of fish that this technique can actually get. Looking beautiful. Check that out right there. Cold water canal bassin with the bobber and the marabou jig. That is freaking gnarly, y'all. Barely pinned. We lose any tension. This fish is coming off. One last look at him. Thank you for the bite, buddy. Look at him. Look at him chase. Look at him chase. Get in there, dude. Get giant. I literally popped it right over that little shelf area that's in there. And the second it swung down, that little sucker just got smacked. That is so gnarly. We know there's a couple fish up in here chasing, so let's get this little marabou jig down there. Oh, oh, there it is. Much better fish, y'all. Much better fish. Y'all, this one, I actually felt the bite before the bobber even went down. He hit it upward. He came out from underneath it, hit it upward, and then dove down. I mean, he smacked it, just crushed it. And they're, it's catching great quality fish. Look at that. Y'all, I don't know how well you can see it, but down the goalie. Great thing is, is these little marabou jigs, they come right out. No issues whatsoever. And, uh, tell you what, it's all thanks to this little bobber right here. That was sick. This fish absolutely cranked it, y'all. You know, maybe they're getting going, and if we get, you know, one, two more, we don't even have to go up uh, to the next section a mile up. I still might check it out just because I want to, but it won't be an absolute necessity to go up there. All right, people, so we are at the second spot, literally just a mile up the road. We ended up doing pretty good at that previous spot. We got six total bites. We got three fish up, two of which were actually pretty good quality fish for how small that little bait is. So I'm telling you guys, this tactic, it works, it's fun, it's simple. One rod, one reel, a little pack of marabou jigs, and you know, bring an extra bobber just in case because I had a little situation with my bobber that just flew off. Luckily we got it back, but bring an extra bobber just in case and come on out and have some fun. We're not done yet. We're going to try to get a couple more. So stay tuned, enjoy, and let's go whack them. I just want to get one more, you know? One more for a total of 45 minutes of fishing. A little bass chaser. Look at that. We got picked. We got picked. We got nibbled. Drop, 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 drop. I was just slowly reeling it, y'all. And it got freaking a little whack. The subtlety of a marabou jig, it will catch you absolutely anything. I mean, if you want to get on bass, it'll get you bass. Crappies, yellow bass, uh, bluegills, red ear, tilapia. Like I said earlier, carp, I've caught them on marabou jigs. Catfish will hit them. I mean, they will truly catch you anything. That's why this time of year actually gets kind of cool. Because those small baits catch anything. And you never know what is going to be on the end of your line when you're reeling in a small grub or a marabou jig, or a spoon, or panta martin, whatever. You have no idea because everything eats small baits this time of year. We've been messed with a lot. Every spot that we've stopped at, we've kind of been at least picked at, but that first spot has hands down. Ooh, right there, right there, y'all. Just freaking cranked it. Catfish, freaking catfish. What did I tell you guys? You never know what you're gonna catch this time of year on a marabou jig. Now I'll tell you what, that guy just absolutely crushed it. I'm gonna run back to the car, cause I'm a doofus, and I forgot pliers. Be right back. I know I'm gonna get some hate on this one. How could you forget pliers, leaving that catfish on the bank? But, 
I'll tell you what, at least it's a catfish and not a bass. The only reason why I say that is because catfish are so much more durable than bass, crappies, bluegills, etc. That at the end of the day, yes, it's my fault. Should have had pliers right away. Get them back in the water, but we got bit by the most durable freaking fish that's probably in this canal. I mean, those suckers can live out of the water for freaking hours and be just fine. You put them right back in, they swim off. There's some hardy, hardy fish, wicked bite, and he hit it right away. Just like the bass. It's been pretty much right away that we get bit. So it's that initial fall and that initial settle, and then boom, we're on. All right, y'all, so we ended up not doing too bad today. We ended up getting four fish up. We had probably about eight or nine bites, so not too bad. We were only fishing for about 55 minutes, so just under an hour. I really screwed up when it came to leaving that catfish on the bank, completely my fault. Left the pliers in the car, spaced off, my fault. And if you guys watch the channel, you know I'm a pansy when it comes to the catfish, but it's in the water, it's healthy, we're good to go. Big bummer is that we got bit by four other largies in that first section of canal that we fished, and I missed them. I freaking missed them. And I know two of them were at least pretty good quality fish, but hey, at the very least, we got two good quality bass, we got one dinky one, and we ended up getting a nice little channel. So hope that this video kind of helped you guys if you're a beginner fisherman, you're not sure how to start. Like I said, this is an extremely simple technique. Costs you $2.26 when you go to Walmart, go over to Copper State, they have a uh, marabou jigs and stuff like that over there so try this technique out and i guarantee you guys you guys are going to catch some fish hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for more and without further ado we'll see you guys next time on southwest fishing